Hi, this is Mary. I'm working on a road map course for my nephew and I just want to show you in this video how you can make one. It's a pretty easy project and it's going to make a great birthday present. So this is the road map. Started with a piece of green fabric, twill, something lightweight but sturdy. Hemmed it on the side so that it wasn't salvaged. Did leave the salvage on, didn't cut it off, and didn't hem it. Then I took some black felt and I cut three inches wide strips, but not too many. And three inches wide because two cars can pass each other in three inches wide. And these are Hot Wheels cars. So. Laid out some strips, straight strips, trying to get an idea of where the roads are going. And if I did it all grid, it would be really boring. So I wanted to get some curves in there. Kind of eyeballed where I wanted the curves. And knew if I did it freehand on the black felt, it would either take a lot of work of measuring three inches, three inches, three inches, so it was even, or it just wouldn't look good at all. So here's how you make a pattern for a curve. Really simple. Took a piece of paper, three inches wide. Then, to make the curve, cut almost all the way to the edge of the paper, but not through, two but not through. I did it about one inch, one and a half inches or so apart. And you can see when you spread this and see where it's not spreading very well. I haven't gone all the way to the edge so I need to go a little bit further. Then you can get your curve how you want it. And for this S curve, then of course you're going to start cutting on the other side. Maybe I should hold the scissors correctly. So again, cut two but not through. And not being a perfectionist, you're not measuring. Then you'll take your black fabric. And I use felt because it's very durable, but just for showing, this is the only black fabric I have right now. So I'm just going to show you. And then you would take your pattern and you'd stick it on your fabric, lay it out, pin it, pin it to the desired curves you want. Of course you can always cut and tape. And you're going to fill in, obviously, with your uh, chalk marker pencil. You know, you're just going to fill in those curves, those lines. And you'll cut it out, place it where you want to place it on your mat, and you'll sew it down. Now, a long time ago, I made one of these for my son, and I glued it down because it was faster than I thought that would work. And um, the cars going over the seams, it came unglued. So I really, really strongly suggest you sew it. I zigzagged it all the way around on any edge. Overlapped it here. You know, tucked one road into the other road so it's nice and clean. And the important thing is, is to leave a lot of green space so they can build Lego houses or have a little construction site. Something for the imagination. You don't want to put too much road in there. And then, just put your cars in there. Fold it up. And I got a birthday present for my nephew. I think you can do that too. It's really simple and I know they'll like it. That's it. Thanks for watching.